Even this video is for those who is having problem in understanding the code of electrical project underground cable hole distance locator using Arduino. So this is the code. So I'm going to teach you and uh, the students are messaging by seeing this article. This is the article on the circuitsbazaarwebsite.com underground cable fault distance locator using Arduino and 16 cross 2 LCD and relay. So the complete detail of uh, this particular project is given on this website. You can see from here and the link is also given in the description below and this is the code the students having problem with so i'm going to teach you in this video like what all are the steps in this particular code so here we have initialized the lcd which is liquid crystal dot h so basically this is the header file so we have initialized the lcd and the, these are the six pin pin number 12 and 11 is the rsn enable pin and pin number 5 4 3 2 uh, these are the data lines which is particularly like uh, d4 d5 d6 and d7 right and this is the sensor pin basically this is uh, the sensor pin is coming from overlay loop circuit and this is analog data which we have given to a0 a0 pin of the arduino now if you go to the code then you will uh, like if you go to the block then you will see the circuit diagram so this is the overlay loop circuit in this overlay loop circuit this is the signal which is going to the arduino you can see that this is the signal and this is going to the arduino and this is complete overlay loop circuit for 2 km 4 km 6 km and 8 km now if you'll come back to the programming then here you will see we have in slice uh, pin number 8 9 10 of the arduino which is basically going to the relay basically relay driver so we are using darlington pair here let me just show you the relay circuit diagram as well so this is for the single relay but uh, you can implement this single circuit three times then it will be for three relays right the circuit will be same so you can see that we are using two transistors, transistor like T1 and T2 which is BC547 transistor. So both of these two transistors in combined form acting as a Darlington pair. So as you know that Darlington pair will be high or you can say will be activated when you will provide zero here. And if you will provide one then it would be of the device you have attached on the second transistor. Let me just show you how it's happening. If you will provide zero here. So what's happened this transistor is off then the signal is coming from or you can say voltage is coming from here will go directly to the this transistor and this transistor would be on and then when it will be on then this relay would be on but if you provide one here then this transistor would be on all the voltage coming from up it will go uh, because we have grounded here so all the current or voltage you can say will be grounded using this transistor and nothing will go here so this transistor would be off and when it would be off then the relay would be off so what what do you, you mean by this basically when you provide zero relay would be on if you will provide one or you can say high relay would be off now come back to the programming so uh, we have also initialized in the programming serial port so if you want to have the data on the laptop screen or your desktop desktop then you can uh, activate the serial port as well and this is the uh, like message on the lcd underground cable fault uh, locator so this is just a welcome message on the lcd now this is very important step Wh whatever steps we are using for red line the similar step you will use for the yellow and blue line okay so this is digital write 8 low so what we have done like 8 is for red line 9 is for yellow line and 10 is for blue line relay okay so when you will off this 8 pin means red line like this the system you have activated uh, to read the red line right now here if sensor value you will read the analog data and if analog data or you can say <coughs> the steps you will get from analog data with the help of adc is greater than thousand it means there is no fault but if these steps or you can say value would be between 890 to 920 then two kilometer fault basically what's happening here <coughs> so voltage if, uh, if uh, steps are above thousand it means there is no voltage drop and there is no fault but if there would be a fault near to two kilometer right then the value or you can say digital data would be around 890 to 920 which you have converted with the help of adc it means data you will get analog then you will convert it into digital form with the help of analog to digital converter on the pin number a0 of the arduino microcontroller now if this value would be between 870 to 880 then the fault would be at four kilometer and if the f value between uh, 800 to 825 then fault would be at 6 km and if value would be between 670 to 688 then fault would be between uh, around 8 km right so this is how you have calculated the fault of red line and in the similar way you have to now next time what you need to do you have to make the yellow line low and red line and blue line high it means now the system through these steps what you understand now the system is reading the data of yellow line like at what kilometer fault will be there 
so what you have done over here now you have reading the you you have read the uh, the yellow line analog data and now if value again would be if greater than 1000 then no fault and if value would be between 890 to 920 then yeah, uh, like uh, fault at 2 km then fault at 4 km then fault at 6 km 8 km now similarly you will repeat the same step for the blue line but this time you will make the pin number 10 which belongs to a uh, blue line relay you will make it low means uh, the relay is activated at blue line and now again you will repeat the same step so this is basically the code of the underground cable fault detector but uh, uh, like there is a, another version as well in which we are using gsm modem so whenever fault would be uh, uh, like whenever fault will occur then the message would be sent to the uh, authority so it may be the central location or it may be a concerned person so message will go to him so that he can take appropriate action to resolve the fault as soon as possible okay so this is all about this coding and if you want to uh, watch that like upgrade of this project where we are using JSM modem the link is also given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video and if you like if you want to watch more video on underground cable fault detector then you can you can just click on the above links thank you